have been training my clients to build into their decision the feedback. You're right. I, I learned that from Ignatius Loyola and John Calvin, not from modern decision theory. You build into the decision. You write out what you expect, which is almost unheard of. And you put it away. And nine months later or three years later to open it and feed back from results on expectations. Now, if you look at the three critical decisions in an organization, one is the definition of what is our business, which then underlies strategy. The other one is at the allocation of the two scarce resources, money and people. Uh, nobody, almost nobody feeds back. And I feed back. And in people decisions, I have now got, it took 20 years, the US military, the Air Force, when they appoint a commander to write out what they expect this person, that's a three-year command, this person to do and to achieve and then feed back. That means the Catholic Church did that in 1236 and found out that 90% of their appointments of bishops during the preceding 600 years were failures. <laughs> no, literally. Uh, uh, in that great Congress in Lyon, which is the beginning of uh, organizing the church in the modern mold. Uh, well, my clients find out that 60% of their people decisions are at best not gross mistakes. On capital appropriations, if you feed back, what do you expect? And on innovation, here on my desk is that letter fax came in today from this big client who wants to sit down because as a result of my working with them for the last five years, they have fed back from the introduction of new products and new services, um, from the results to expectations, and they are appalled. They are considered exceedingly successful. Uh, here is that product that will revolutionize the industry. Well, Five years later, it's a small specialty, uh, if you're lucky. Uh, that's the only way to learn, by the way, and capital appropriations and so on. And that's not in the decision literature at all, because there the belief is that you have made the decision, and that's it. No, a decision is in itself uh, the first step and not the last step in the process. Uh, and uh, the decision literature assumes that making decisions is desirable. No, it's only inevitable. 